Hey guys, over the past few years working as an engineer, I've come to know what it means to not only have people reliant on me, but what it's like to face difficult problems that have to be solved without anyone to ask for help. And although there have been times that were certainly uncomfortable, in my experience, engineering isn't a stressful job. And looking at the statistics, most engineers seem to agree, which is odd considering the complexity of the work. So let's look at how stress manifests in engineering and what you can do to alleviate or avoid a lot of it. Now, when you start a new job as an engineer, like any new job, there are many sources of stress. You just don't know what you're doing, what to say, where to sit. You're surrounded by strangers whose names you've forgotten and you feel like you aren't even worth minimum wage, let alone your salary because you can't contribute anything. And it's overwhelming. Of course it is because your brain is taking in so much new stimuli that it is literally overwhelmed. And it has nothing to do with you or social anxiety, it's just psychology. And the remedy for it is simply time. You will find your feet and before you know it, it all becomes familiar and the anxiety and overwhelm subside. So expect to feel that initial anxiety so that when you are struck by it, you can smile at how predictable it was and comfort yourself by remembering that it is fleeting. Now, once you're through that and are settling down, you then encounter the daily stresses of engineering practice. Things like solving difficult problems under pressure or presenting your ideas to colleagues or being relied on to contribute. Stresses which never go away, but you see them every day until you're used to them, until it's just another day in the office. And I guess that after going through years of engineering school, you do just have a natural tolerance for these things. And on top of that, as you move through your career, you usually get promoted into increased levels of specialization. So just more and more of what you're good at. And something else which really helped me was the realization that the only difference between an easy and a difficult problem is the time it takes to solve it. So there's never a feeling of, I can't do that. Just a feeling of, it's gonna take me a minute. But if you do get stressed, just remember that it will become easier every day. So fortitude. And finally, I wanted to talk about deadlines because reading online, they're the number one thing engineers say causes them stress. Now, most deadlines are created for engineers by engineers. So they are reasonable and entirely achievable. And if they are overly ambitious or simply impossible to achieve, it's not because there's a problem with you, but a problem with how your supervisor picked the date. Maybe they just miscalculated or they didn't take your existing demands into account or something happened to derail the schedule. <sighs> it just happens. But if you just do your work as you normally do, you will rarely ever be under pressure to reach a deadline. And for most companies, they serve more as ETAs than due dates. But there is another sort of deadline to watch out for, being ones created by manic non-engineer CEOs or professional managers. Or to put it another way, people who have no idea how the work is completed and so their deadlines aren't based on anything. I swear half the time they just pick an arbitrary insane date and try and prod you along with it. And best of all, if it doesn't work and you don't hit the deadline, they won't even care because they were just doing what managers do. So knowing this, when you get given a ludicrous deadline contrived by someone who doesn't know the work or could possibly estimate how long it should take, let it pass through you like the illusory management 101 ploy that it is. And you should have a stress-free and good career. So far I have, and I'll see you soon.